Hi, I am Sosin, Faculty of Anthropology for UPSC. Welcome back to this series, Anthro Times, which is specially designed for giving a walkthrough of the syllabus of anthropology for UPSC. Now, let us continue with the topic that I have started in the last uh, talk, that is from chapter 1.2 of paper 1, UPSC Anthropology Syllabus. The major head of the topic is anthropology and relations with other disciplines. In the last video, I had uh, uh, discussed about what should be the general approach, what all perspectives you must have to understand this particular topic. So you can go back and check with that video if you have not seen. And let me continue with the one of such relations that is anthropology, its relation with ecology. This is a very important topic, especially in the current times. Because as we all know, we are living in a time of different kinds of crisis and significantly here, environmental crisis that is actually threatening the human existence and survival. So if we turn back and check how we have evolved, how we have progressed, we can see how at one point of time, the phase of environmental determinism prevailed, meaning how man his living, his culture was influenced by environment. In fact, environment was deciding human culture. On the other hand, in the contemporary times, we see we moving into a different phase named Anthropocene. When we say Anthropocene, this is that phase in the emergence of man and evolution. This is a phase wherein man through his culture is dictating terms to environment and so that shows how significant the relation between anthropology and ecology is because we study culture and how through culture we are trying to dictate terms to ecology. So in this context I would want to tell you that there is a new term that had emerged that is environmental anthropology. So, if at all you are looking for any current affairs related questions that might appear in the exam, this is one topic I insist that you should study about that is environmental anthropology. Now, this is that field where it is not simply the relation between ecology and anthropology, but in this field a very microscopic level of study also is being taken up. Meaning. Scholars are picking up smaller variants, meaning a certain flora, fauna, landforms, etc. How these are being influenced by culture. Say for example, one such interesting study was conducted in Philippines about how the devastation of mangroves had influenced the environment as well as the living of the human. This was the study that was conducted by Andre Veda and Bradley Walters. Similarly, many of us know that there has been the fashion of outsourcing of industries, especially environmentally taxing, damaging industries. Now, this is one of the contemporary studies we see. Several papers are being submitted on how outsourcing of environmentally damaging industries is affecting the human populations of those regions and also the environments. I hope this is very interesting to you. So, these are the kind of uh, topics, contemporary studies that should definitely be a part of your answers in order to make them interesting at the same time the end game being scoring better than the others. Now, coming to the reference books, as you have seen, we are talking about several contemporary examples and things like that. But the core of these understandings lies in anthropological theory and hence, as a part of ecological studies, whatever thinkers are there, like Julian Steward or Leslie White or even Roy Rappaport, such kind of studies you can do from core anthropological thought books. The one popular book that you can fetch from the market is Anthropological Thought by Upadhyaya and Gaya Pandey. But then, yeah, you must be wondering how to incorporate the very contemporary things. Certain books that are available or articles that are written by Marvin Harris can help you in wading through those kinds of things. Thank you for now. 
See you very shortly with another video with interesting examples and studies. Have a great Anthro Times.